Yo, welcome to the Heat Check. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and this week we have a really great mix of sneakers that I think you guys are really going to love. Plus, if you stick around to the end of the video, there's some really exclusive stuff dropping over at ComplexCon, and I'll talk about that as well. So, let's get started with what dropped today. First, we have a little something from Adidas Originals in the EQT, ADV, or Advanced, and those are gonna cost you $110 over at Finish Line. It is winter time, which means it's a little harder to train, but the Nike Free Trainer is dropping exclusively over at Finish Line. You can grab those as well in the white colorway for $100. If you're more of a basketball player type than a trainer type, then the Nike KD10 dropped today in black. This is one of the more slick colorways we have seen in the shoe so far, and those will cost you $150. For those in love with Nike Sportswear, there are actually two Air Max dropping in Thunder Blue. These look really nice. The colors on these really pop. And I'm going to say it's one of the better colorways of the shoes that we've seen so far in 2017. For those looking to pick up the 97, those will cost you $170, whereas if you want to grab the Air Max 90, well, those are going to cost you $120. When it comes to the Nike Air Force One, I feel like Nike really lets their designers explore and experiment with the shoe, which has some good and some, I would say, not so good results. Coming in on the good side is the Nike Duck Boot. For this iteration of the shoe, Nike is using the Luna Force model, and the men and the women get their own colorways. I'm obviously partial to the men's colorway on this one, but both pairs will cost you $170 when they drop tomorrow. The color choices for the Nike Air Vapor Mask continue to grow, and tomorrow will be no exception. The women have a pure platinum colorway coming, and the men have a version of the Vapor Max actually called the Vapor Max CS in a total crimson colorway. Speaking of crimson, there are actually two other Vapor Max dropping that are called a touch of crimson, and those will cost you $190 as well. As most of you know, I am preparing to run a marathon and one of the shoes that I started out with is the Nike Zoom Fly. This weekend there are several versions of the shoe dropping. One is in all black which looks pretty slick. Then there's also the model strictly for the New York Marathon which is more of a Nike Lab version of the shoe. And then we have the women's version of the shoe. All three pairs will cost you $150 but you can pick up the black pair directly at finish line. If you are a Nike SB Dunk fan and when I say a fan I mean someone that has a love for the brand more than the last two or three years you'll be excited to know that the Nike SB Dunk Pro High will be releasing this weekend as well. These colorways are inspired by the teams that went to Barcelona, so in one regard, this is the Dream Team Nike SB collaboration, kinda. Uh, one pair features a navy colorway, while the other pair rocks a red colorway. Those will cost you $100. Speaking of flipping the Nike Air Force One, the upcoming set of Special Forces Air Force One highs for men and women take the shoe to places it has never been before. Seen here in tan and orange and in a black colorway, the Special Forces Air Force One high is a different beast entirely. Of the three, the orange is definitely the most striking and unique and you can pick those up for $200. Moving ahead to Friday, we have the Nike Kyrie 3 in a colorway they're calling Silt Red. As you can see, the upper is mostly black, but it's the outsole with that silt red tint or a color that really makes this model pop. Those will cost you $120 over at finish line. Keeping the basketball vibes going, the Adidas Dame 4 is dropping in an Onyx colorway. Now, the Dame 4 has been getting a lot of love when it comes to performance, and the $115 price tag doesn't hurt at all. You can pick those up on Friday at finish line. Of course, the good folks over at Adidas have a little bit dropping on Friday, and they're going to start with the NMD for the women in Trace Blue and Dark Burgundy. Finish line is gonna have these colorways in the XR1 version of the NMD, and you can grab those for 150. Not to be left out, the men have two pair dropping as well, the Core Black and Red colorway, and then there's also the Heather Gray colorway. Those will cost you $150 as well. All right, looking at the Saturday drop, things are actually pretty slim to be honest, and just the Air Jordan 32 low is dropping in the University of North Carolina or University Blue colorway as it's officially called. If you haven't had a chance to play in the 32 yet, you should definitely give it a try. The shoe is a beast on the court. Those will cost you 160 and you can pick those up at finish line. Now, of course, there are a ton of drops coming for ComplexCon. There are a bunch of collabs happening with Adidas. I know for sure there's an NERD collab happening. New Balance has a collab coming with some sneaker shops. And and then there's also Puma's drop with the Justice League, which I believe is happening at Complex Con as well. And if you're on the Nike train, there are a few Air Force One surprises happening as well as a few other things that I honestly cannot tell you because I've been sworn to secrecy, but definitely make sure you head out to Complex Con if you have the opportunity. All right, guys, as with every week, there are some things that I didn't talk about because I only wanted to give you something I thought you really actually cared about. With that being said, I am Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line, and as always, I appreciate you. You guys have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Peace.